Hey, what's up? Well, before I throw this shirt in the laundry and wash it, I would like to say that I did not enjoy yesterday's video because um, it wasn't very long and I would like to talk longer. Um, but I like this shirt and I think it goes better with lapis. Um, and so I'm just going to make kind of a part two of that video. Um, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do if I run out of time again, but let's get to it. Well, I want to title this video, you know, as much as I hate, you know, making these videos, um, these subject matters, I really don't like them. I'd much rather have an unboxing, you know, some sort of a something to unwrap or talk about, um, you know, on here. That would be much more pleasant, but uh, unfortunately I can't really spend a lot more money. And, um, you know, I just don't want to have any packages coming in anytime soon. So, you know, what I want to talk about in this video, I want to title it Boys Will Be Gross. And I guess you could change the adjective to any number of things. Um, you could replace it with lazy and, you know, and any number of things. I mean, and it just really makes me mad, you know, when people, um, I think I made a video, what is it now, four years ago about you know, how boys are not girls and vice versa, and hopefully that little girl who, you know, it's amazing how um, things begin for one reason yet continue for another. And when I started making videos, one of the things that got me back into making videos was a little girl who was four years old, and she was pooping herself, and her uncle was just so fascinated by it, you know, that he would film it, and I got, I, I was, well, I got really mad about it, and hopefully I am the reason why such videos are no longer out there, or at least part of it. But that little girl would be eight, and hopefully she's not doing that anymore. But I was just thinking about how, you know, how infuriating it is that um, people like to recognize the differences between men and women, you know, that put men in a positive light, you know, such as, like, I don't know, all the things that men think they've invented or built or you know what I'm saying they love to talk about or brag about the things that they do well but um when it's something that puts males you know and it's usually like especially younger boys you know um when it's something that puts boys in a very negative light you know they want to discuss it or phrase things in such a way that even if they're an extreme minority, even if it's just one out of five children or something, they want to make it seem like it could just as easily be a girl doing such activities. You know what I'm saying? Like pooping in their pants when they're ridiculously old. Like, even though the vast majority of such children are boys, um, they want to discuss it like it's children, you know, use gender neutral language, like to obscure the fact that it's almost exclusively a boy thing. And um, the older the children get, the more male-dominated it becomes. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, it's just, I, I just, you know, I want to tell you this video, boys will be gross. You know, I'd much rather be, like, showing off some boy doll, which I may do very soon. Show off some, since I'm not going to be unboxing anymore, you know, show off some other boy dolls that I've bought or made over the years. And that is the very reason why... I like boy dolls. You know, you might be like, why do you want to have boy dolls if you hate boys so much? You know, or you don't like guys enough to have a boyfriend. Why have you liked Ken and male dolls so much? Well, it's because, you know, maleness and masculinity. See, what makes me really mad is like, people see maleness and masculinity as just the default when the opposite is the truth. You know, um, it, it's the other way around. I mean, we all start off looking female. And um, that's why it is so much easier to masculinize a female than feminize a male. Um, so, you know, but it, it's like I'm fascinated by masculinity as it differs from femininity. But also because of the fact that maleness is so disgusting and, and you know, in its purest raw form. It is so dirty and filthy and disgusting that they do not put it, they don't pedestal, like, 
women don't pedal most women don't pedestalize masculinity in and of itself the way men do females and femininity you know what i'm saying like we are on a pedestal you know from the male perspective i mean you know they still i mean they 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 won't admit it but they benefit so much you know just from knowing us at all or just you know women have so much to offer men as far as you know like sexually and everything but i mean honestly you know if i never see the male you know what again for the rest of my life i will be just fine i have no use whatsoever not only can i not have children um and not only am i probably dry down there though i wouldn't know um i have no use whatsoever to even look upon let alone experience the male you know what or the male body you know the the dearth of male balls you know is is a direct result of this it's like a physical manifestation of something that's hard to put into words you know what i'm saying it's like women don't need blow up dolls and fake boyfriends and fantasy boyfriends to the extent that men want you know fictional girlfriends and um because you know my need for male dolls has nothing to do with sex you know what i'm saying I have no interest in you know them having genitals or you know it has nothing to do with that in my case it's more or less um like i don't know i, I guess i just get a thrill out of the fact that they're not a girl doll which is you know what a doll is understood to be for that very reason you know what i'm saying you know men have us on this fictional pedestal so to speak you know they have this ideal of a woman and when we don't live up to it you know somehow they want to exclude us from the definition of a woman and um yeah there would never no girl would ever think that boys don't poop you know simply because of what i'm talking about you know because we don't pedestalize masculinity and maleness you know and just the very essence of a, of a guy you know what i'm saying a guy has to offer something you know of value in our lives because of who he is not just because he's a guy you know what i'm saying i don't just crave the thought of having some guy in my life that can't pay my bills and that's my height and shorter which is pretty hard to do um i'm a little shy of five four but um you know we don't just crave the thought of having someone with a you know what um in our lives we just don't in fact if we were never penetrated we would be doing better than the women who are you know what i'm saying so, you know, I just want to say it like, you know, boys will be gross. You know, they will be gross. That's just, you know, that, and it just really makes me mad when, you know, as I've stated in that video, I feel like I repeat my videos so much. You know, girls are not boys and vice versa. Um, it's like when people, people, you know, somebody will say like, like, for example, me being red shirted, you know, I like to say that because I was red shirted, that had a negative impact on my life and it did and it did it, it had a very negative impact on my life that my mom will not admit to you know simply not putting me in kindergarten at all would have been preferable to you know putting me in kindergarten at the age when i should have been in first grade you know what i'm saying but she wanted that 13th year of free education from the government i guess she won't admit to that but it's true a 13th year of germ exposure, a 13th year of, you know, making me be a kid in school. Well, I went half a day as a senior because I thought it was ridiculous to be over 18 yet still going to high school like a stupid kid. Um, so, you know, it had a very negative impact on my life to be red shirted, you know, put in kindergarten at six and a half instead of five and a half. And what it did was it just made me not attracted whatsoever to any of the male students in my class like it would not matter you know i could see a guy my age or younger it would not matter what he had done he could be a multi-billionaire with you know everything going for him i still wouldn't want him if he's my age or younger um 
you know, and, and people say, well, you know, that didn't affect me. I'm a guy and I repeated such and such grades. So I was actually 19 when I graduated. Well, exactly. You're an effing guy. Um, and a guy, you know, could be 40 years old in high school and he'd be happy to be around all those teenage girls. But, you know, as a, as a female, I do not feel that way. You know, I w was not happy to be forced to be around boys, you know, that were still like, well, I mean, there were still boys. Like, I was a senior in high school, and they, they always, they actually, ironically, they were the ones who fascinated me the most because I secretly wanted to pass for one of them. And um, these boys who didn't really get their voice changed, I call them beaver bloomers. You know, though that wasn't obviously a thing back then, because, you know, Bieber was still a little kid unknown in Canada. Um, but these late maturing boys that get their voice changed around 16 or 17, um, and if they have, like, a late birthday, like they were born in, like, August, and they were put in kindergarten at 5 or something, and so when they're a senior in high school, they're still 17 the whole year. And so their voices didn't really start changing until their junior year. So they didn't really sound like men. Yeah, they, they didn't really, their voices weren't really on the adult male spectrum until almost graduation. You know what I'm saying? And that always fascinated, it intrigued me. Because I was kind of at one extreme for puberty, you know, already having breast development by the end of third grade. And then a menstrual period by the end of fifth grade. And yet here were these little boys, you know, that um, their voices were still changing their senior year of high school. Wouldn't have significant facial hair until college. And it always intrigued me because we were opposites. And, um, but I wasn't attracted to them, obviously. And, you know, so, I mean, it really did have a negative impact on me because I am female. To be like put in kindergarten at six and a half and graduate at almost 19, almost, because I was born in June, thankfully. Um, but you know, it was very negative in the way that I, I felt nothing. I've never felt anything for the boys that were my age, in my age group. Um, nothing whatsoever. The only male, like I've stated before, that I am obsessed with, or the males that I was obsessed with, were my teachers one in particular and that is exactly why because they were the only males that were significantly older than me yeah other than my father that i would see on a daily basis you know what i'm saying teachers dale dare officers um you know coaches usually of the boys um and those kind of male faculty members you know were the only people that I really looked at and thought, oh, he's hot. Um, never felt that way for any of my classmates for that simple reason, because boys are immature. You know, however much people don't want to accept that. And, um, you know, so, you know, boys will be gross. So, you know, when people, like, you know, when there's a, a girl struggling with potty training, you know, at, which I think is ridiculous. Four years old, that's just ridiculous, especially for a girl, because that's like a boy being five or six and school-aged, um, but, you know, I, I just think it's ridiculous, and it's embarrassing, you know, should the girl ever read these things when she's older, you know, for someone to say, well, you know, my son is four, and, and he's still in diapers, well, he's a freaking boy, that's why, and boys will be gross, and, um, you know, like, like about the frequent colds, as I call it, um, now, yes, I mean, children have more colds than adults, but in younger children, the boys have more colds than the girls because they're filthy and they play in large groups. And so, you know, um, people, people don't see, or well, in my case, it's because of what my name actually is in real life. And unfortunately, it isn't Veronica. So, you know, having a cold became a very unforgettable experience. You know, beginning in seventh grade around this time, well, a little before this time. But, um, you know, and people will like, yeah, but they, they just fail to understand. It's, it's remarkable, well, because I'm me, of course, but also because I'm a girl, you know, so anything a girl does is more special or remarkable just because she's female. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it's, 
you know, gross bodily functions are, are like more out of character, you know, when you consider the ethereal, mythical nature, you know, that people attribute to us females. And, you know, you combine the two and it's like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, you know, the irony of a woman, you know, a woman's body even producing gross things whatsoever, you know. It's really something, and I feel like, um, you know, my sexuality just kind of shifted. You know, once I was no longer a young girl, so, you know, there was no longer that thrill of, you know, being with a much older man, you know, because once I became an adult, you know, not only did these male teachers and faculty members just kind of pretend I no longer existed anymore, you know, like, they didn't even remember me anymore, um, I also no longer felt that thrill around older men because guess what? I am an adult woman now. I could be their age. Um, so it's no longer special. It's not a May-December relationship. It's just a December-December relationship, if you know what I mean. Um, and so I'm certainly not attracted to younger boys. <sighs> um... But, so yeah, this video's gone away too long, but yeah, I just wanted to say that how it, it just really makes me mad when people, like, try to, um, when it's something bad, you know, associated with males, they want it to be like, well, you know, women do it too, even if they're just 1% of the people that do that, you know what I'm saying? But then if it's something that, um, men do well, you know, they want it to be well known that it's predominantly males, you know what I'm saying? Um... And so, yeah, it just really makes me mad. Another thing that makes me mad is how, like, um, yeah, there's all these women, like, it, it's a lot more women, even if it's something negative, you know, like, people say, like, men watch cartoons, they're so immature. Well, you see a lot of women or females saying, well, I'm a woman and I'll watch cartoons, but you don't see a lot of males saying, like, I'm a man and I don't watch cartoons, you know what I'm saying? It's like, even if it's a negative thing, you know, men still want to take credit for it, you know, and there's, it's just disgusting, you know, how women would, you know, they're, they're just not proud of even the positive things about being female, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you just don't see men who object to, you know, men fart all the time. There, there's not a lot of guys saying, no, I don't, I would never fart. But unfortunately, there's actually some women that try to say that they do, which, of, of course, you know, I would never fart in my clothes. Um, but, you know, it just makes me mad how it's like women would like to take on even the negative aspects of being male. You know, that's how ashamed they are of being female. Yeah, you know, and, and yet, but you don't see a lot of men, like, trying to contradict that and say, you know, like, I don't fart or I don't watch cartoons, I don't like sports. You know, and that's another thing, you know, as a 40-year-old woman, sports will never, never be my interest. You know, I've never gotten into them thus far. I mean, yeah, it just really makes me mad. I mean, it's like women are encouraged, you know, to like stupid sports. But yet, you don't see a lot of men, you know, trying to... I mean, men will talk to us about sports like as if we give a tinker's damn. Whereas, if I were to sit down and try to talk to a man, you know, about feminine things, you know, like shoes and... Well, I'm not into makeup, but, you know, like my dolls and things like that. I mean, I would get... The stink eye, I would have, you know, they would look at me with narrow eyes of disapproval. And I would, S-T-F-U, S is for shut. But, you know, we're just supposed to sit there and pretend like we're interested in sports just because men want to talk to us about it. But, you know, I think that's ridiculous. I think that a woman should be every bit as ashamed to wear a sports jersey as a man would be to wear a freaking pink tutu. So, you know, boys would be gross, you know, I would be much more surprised if a little boy got through the winter without any colds, you know, then a boy getting frequent colds, I mean, that's just what little boys do. Um, and that's why it's infuriating, you know, people just didn't think it was very remarkable. You know, when I would get these colds, you know, like I was just another ordinary person. Um, but, you know, you know, that that's just the way it is. I mean, boys will be gross. You know, they will watch TV, you know, and... And I don't think women should be encouraged to take on their negative attributes.